It is a packed house in Edinburgh. They've all arrived with high expectations because Scotland, they are a team on the up. But what have they got against the best team in the world? These conditions. And we're off. Scotland against England, possibly also against Mother Nature. The most tense situation. Scotland a bit... Oh, cocaine, that was too easy. She scores! It is slippy, it is slidey, but Amy Cocaine is strong and she finishes the job. England on the board. Just that first tackle, yeah. Skeldon just slipping off that first one. Playing this in greasy conditions, they're happy that this is still the proverbial hot potato. This is wonderful from England. Nearly everyone's touched it to this near side to Dow. That could be an incredible try. Nearly every England player touched the ball. Yeah, it's just the quality of the passes and Kabea's just staying out wide, giving that final pass. But as you say, sometimes the pod of three, sometimes it's four. It's the release ball. I tell you, Herd is superb as a link player. She really, she's not the try assist. She's like the two or three before. She's a superb centre. We have a lifting tackle, not dangerous, but uh, legs above the horizontal line. OK, so it's just a yellow for Amy Cocaine. Muir. She's had her try chalked off. Aitchison thinks she can see space. Oh, that's a nice chase by Meg Jones, and she's got it back in field. That's really good. Can kill Dan go over? She can. Look at that. Reacts well. Rowley turns her back, but Megan Jones from the seventh circuit being able to adapt to the conditions. Ball is at the back, the forwards are driving, penalty advantage to England as well, it's been contained so far by Alex Matthews, can she go the whole way? No, Hunt gathers, she's round the corner, not over, manages to move her body back, Kabea, too easy, try number four, bonus point wrapped up, and we've still got virtually a whole second half to go. And then, when they've held all of it, like, held me, we'll find her But the England, the England pack keep driving, which takes away every single Scottish... No problem with that conversion at all. Advantage. That ball is well in, and it's penalty advantage to England. They've got a free hit. Coming on the loop there was Aitchison. That's a nice run cross field to Breach. What a take by Breach! What a finish! What a try by England straight off the training park. Especially a wide ball as a final pass, which again, I remind you, in this wind, you can see the amount of pace that's put on there. That's the important thing. If you're going to be a trail runner there, Okay, so it is the shoulder there of Amy Cocaine on Lana Skeldon. We have a, yeah, this uh, a foul play. Let's hear. Right contact with head, so this means a yellow card to show, but it's going to be a red card. In any case, go to the bunker for a review. Now just to find Breach gets her head down, despite the fact that Rona Lloyd was running up towards... Oh, Breach! Still Breach! She's going over for a brace! Scotland had no answer. They needed to put in the tackle. Four strong, it made, what, 20 metres? Yeah, we talked about it earlier, how just to try to frustrate England, especially 14 players, keep ball in hand. Marley Packer there just at the back, directing traffic for Hunt, telling her which way to go. Your hands, no, I'm sorry, you can I'm tell sorry. the fresh legs out there. Fernati has been begging for every ball. They need one more pass. And Dow is there. It's kill done. Kill done scores. Are managing even with the player down to make the most of it. John Mitchell was very clear that he thought Gregson was the informed 13 in the league. As the ball comes down, oh, stolen again by Packer. This is strong from England. They take everything. Feyenoord going forward. Packer picks up the ball, spins it out wide, going forward. It's Packer for a try. Starting to click. And Scotland is tiring and the gaps are appearing. Scotland have seen enough. They had no more, they gave everything, but even a 14-woman England is still a formidable England.